yeah, it was exciting, it was fun, but it's going to be a flag. There are no flags on the field! Tennessee has pulled a miracle! Are you a sports enthusiast? Can you say with certainty that there's one sports moment where a team is very important to you? Have you ever cried tears of joy of victory for your team? If you're enthusiastically bobbing your head up and down, then today's video is for you. Even if you're not doing that, then leap and go ahead. You wouldn't be disappointed. A goal in the closing hours that brought a team to victory, a save by the goalkeeper in the last moments, a basket when it was needed, are all beautiful points that never cease to amaze anyone. Our video today is a compiled list of all those moments that took a team to the winning stand in full glory. Let's get started. Miracle in the Meadowland Do you know about the Miracle of the Meadowland? It is a test of a true NFL fan, and many do remember this sweet victory even if it had happened years before they were born, thanks to the internet. It was November 19, 1978, and a game was in the ending moment between New York Giants and Philadelphia Eagles. The Giants were winning it, well, almost. The last minute of the game, and all they had to do was to kill that one minute to call victory theirs. Seems easy, right? What followed, however, is another story. A mistake by the Giants quarterback, Joe Pisarek, was made when he fumbled and eventually dropped the attempted handoff. The Eagles' Herm Edwards saw it as an opportunistic moment, scooped up the ball, and raced into the end zone untouched for the shocking win. It also ended as a moral lesson for teams heading towards victory. Whenever there are teams that are in a similar position, they make the victory formation, leaving one player back. After all, better safe than sorry. The Miracle of the City So turning the tables in one minute was a miracle. Well, what do you call turning them in under 16 seconds then? You don't believe that's happened? Well, yes, it has. And that too during a wildcard round during the AFC playoff game in 2000. You want to know what happened? Keep watching. It was a game played between the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Oilers. The rule of thumb with these two teams is to stick to your teams when they are playing, that two against each other. Towards the closing of the game, the Buffalo Bills had scored a 41-yard goal thanks to Steve Christie. With that goal, they had a lead in the game with a 16-15 score on the board. There was very little required of them. All they had to do was kick off, tackle the return man, and knock down the Hail Mary pass. Tick off all of the above boxes, and they would have landed in the next round of the playoffs. However, as history is evident, something completely different happened. The Titans ran a trick play. To this day, it is being heavily questioned and debated what, what they did was actually a forward pass or it was a lateral pass. We might have to live without knowing the truth. What we do know is that Kevin Dyson scored the winning touchdown for them and they advanced into the playoffs. Winning touchdown in the last 16 seconds of the game, that sure is a miracle. Michael Jordan and the shot. Next on our list was a famous win from the NBA, even more famous as it came from Michael Jordan. It was a bittersweet victory for him as he was almost being written off as a player and the world was yet to see the greatness of Michael Jordan. So, are you ready to go three decades back and witness the uprising of Michael Jordan? The year is 1989. The game is being played between the Chicago Bulls and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Bulls weren't as famous then, but it was indeed the beginning of their fame, victory, and whatnot. Cavaliers were the favorites for the game in the tournament. However, the Chicago Bulls had the advantage of playing their home ground. It was the last three seconds of the game, and Jordan saw the perfect opportunity to strike. He started from the right side, dribbled to the key, jumped into the air, and Craig Elo jumped to defend. But Jordan remains in the air till Elo was back on the ground, and then he was releasing his shot. The shot made it through the basket, three seconds were over, and the Bulls emerged victorious. He gets it into Nance, gets the ball back, drives to the hoop, and lays it in with three seconds to go. The catch in the NFC Championship. So if you are to take one lesson from watching all of these winning moments, then we wish it is to understand and cherish the importance of every second. Nothing is too less or too little if you have your mind set. And that is what exactly was on the mind of Joe Montana. It was January 10, the year 1982, and the game was closing between San Francisco 49ers and Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys had a 27-21 lead and they were also safe with the knowledge that the 49ers would have to drive 
89 yards to be able to score a winning touchdown. But why run when you can fly or make the ball fly? The last 58 seconds were going on and Montana wanted to hit Freddie Solomon, but he was too well covered. So he improvised his game plan. He looked for another target that was found in the form of Dwight Clark. To avoid the cowboy rush, he rushed his way toward the rear of the end zone and threw a pass that only Clark could catch. Clark jumped as high as possible and was able to haul the pass in for the winning touchdown. Michael Jordan and the Jazz Ask any basketball fan and he would agree that Jordan is the best of the best in the game. His dominance, technique, and play are truly unquestioned as he had proven time and time again. The year 1998, the game is going on between the Bulls and Utah Jazz, and the game is even more important as it is the last time Jordan would be playing for the Bulls. You can argue, or at least only Jazz fans, about the push-off all you want, but there is zero denying that Michael Jordan's last shot for the Bulls was a style statement on its own. 17 seconds to go when he gets the ball, looks like the Bulls have a solid chance to win the game if he's successful. His dominance, skill, and on-the-spot thinking gets him to release the ball in a beautiful shot that made its way to the basket. The Bulls had the game back and the victory as well. Fires! Yes! The Bulls lead 87-86! Michael Jordan with 45 points. Super Bowl 25. There aren't games in the Super Bowl history that are decided by one point. It's the close call, very close. And yet, that happened during the Super Bowl 25 game between the Giants and the Buffalo Bills. It was almost near the end of the game, the score on the board, neck to neck. Scoot Norwood decided to score a goal, not just a goal, but a 47 yard field goal in the closing seconds. Everyone was on their toes to see how the kick would turn out. And the game depended upon the outcome of that one kick. And it was quite some joy when the kick missed. Not all last-minute efforts result in emergence as a victor. It was a game that will be remembered for the ages as it was a battle of a strong defense against a strong offense. Classic, right? World Cup 2019 Cricket All right, any cricket fans out there? You remember the iconic 2019 World Cup final between England and New Zealand? It would be too difficult to explain the match and the victory to a non-cricket person. But the match had all the elements of things that only happened once. It was that unpredictable and sensational. New Zealand made 241 in the first innings. England had to make 242 and declare it a win for them, only if it was that easy for them to do so. England was able to get 241 on the table with no balls to spare. What did that mean? Who won the game if both teams had equal runs? Well, it took us to the super over. The climax was even better than that of a scripted thriller movie. It was that good. England made 15 runs in the six ball super over and all New Zealand had to do was score 16 and call it a game. New Zealand was able to get the same score on the table. Even the most experienced cricket fans wanted to know how the victor would be decided. Quite unfair to the New Zealanders, but as per the rules, the team that had the most number of boundaries would win. That day, that team was England and that's how they won the World Cup final in 2019. Do you think any other match can upset that in the future and set an even crazier precedent? So friends, that was all from our side, quite a thrilling and satisfying tale of some of the famous victories that have happened in different games all over the world. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you liked it and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can be notified of the next video.